Windows File Explorer is slow. It took over three minutes just to search my C drive. Here's how I made my own file explorer, and it was way faster than I was expecting. Wow, it took- First I began with the basics. Let's see if I can give this to ChatGPT to deal with. Oh, uh, okay. Yes, we have our disks. Well, we have one of our disks, the other one just doesn't have a fucking name. What are you providing? What are you bringing to the table? The rust code. Unsatisfied trait bounds. We can now read a disk. Oh, are you joking me? After all that, it is because I had to configure it with the JavaScript is horrible. I've just proven it. We can open a disk. Yeah, here we get a list of shit. So it's ugly as fuck, but it does things. I've done a bit of unnecessary work implementing the ability to go back and forth. It's a little annoying to make. It's involved all this code here. Next, I added the ability to do some basic searching. Okay, so I found this library that we can use to actually walk directories. Already, I can show you this is faster. If I go into the A drive and we do a little race, we just search for it to do here and we search for it to do here and we wait a little minute, um, you'll see that this one finds it way faster. Uh, this one's still searching, it's only just found it. This was already faster than Windows, but I didn't stop there. I needed this to be blazingly fast. The first optimization was using the Rayon crate to split the search between multiple threads. Oh, it found it in 54 seconds. That's not too fast. The next optimization was caching. This would involve storing the file structure in memory, as this is hugely more efficient than a bunch of disk operations on a drive. Even with a cache, this would still take a while to find results. This is where I went on a little tangent. I wanted to use a data structure optimized for finding strings, and I attempted to do so. Why is it not finding many voices? So yeah, we're going to use btrue. It's going to allow us to do some fuzzy searching, which is going to be faster. It is going to be slower, but this is literally 500 microseconds. Very slowly. It is inserting because the, the memory is going up. That was even faster than the try search. The only problem is that took a really long time to cache all the files. It took a long time to create the cache. We needed to store it on disk, in a single file which is loaded along with the program, which I attempted to do. Let me see if there's a way to actually store this VK tree on the disk. So I've just been trial and arrowing with all these things that ChatGPT throws at me, um, hoping one of them works, and then we'll have a beautiful, fast file explorer. <laughs> hmm. I don't know what to do. Um... I failed miserably, and tried a hash map just to see how fast it was. Search time was 53 milliseconds. That's actually fine. So I've just spent the entire afternoon looking at fancy schmancy searching libraries just to find that I can just do this with a hash map. That's depressing. That is depressing. So yes, I did waste hours of my time, but this meant that it was indeed possible to search for files very quickly. It was time to implement this into the program and see how fast it really is. Oh, and if you like this video so far, be sure to check out the other videos on the channel. While this disk cache is 286 megabytes. Okay, so I've made this massive, ugly, stupid ass code. This could work. I don't know if this is gonna work, so this is my first time seeing this. MIDI voices. Click enter. How fast is it gonna be? Wow! It took two seconds. Do you realize what this means? Okay, so I'm gonna demonstrate how this works. When we load it up, what it does is it reads both of our drives here. So what it's doing now is it's just caching everything up. Okay, so we close the program and we run it again. It will load a lot faster and that's because we already have the cache inside this file just here. Okay, so I found this random file on my C drive. It's just part of a game. We're going to put the file name abc in and we're gonna set the extension to DLL. It is a file, so we're not gonna search for folders and we're gonna press enter. That found it in 303 milliseconds, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so that is, uh, that is, that's quite fast. That is quite fast, I can't lie. We're doing good. Windows took 3 minutes and 45 seconds to find the same file. There was much more I wanted to do with the project, but I didn't have time as I completed this thing in 4 days. If you enjoyed the Rust torture, be sure to subscribe.